It felt amazing to be back out on the water again after a few days stuck on the dock. Last week, while sailing in the Strait of Georgia, our steering system failed. Emergency tiller on because we're now in an emergency. That's your first time ever steering with the tiller. Testing our seamanship and ability to adapt to changing circumstances under pressure. Luckily, we came out on top and managed to get our sailboat safely to port. A broken steering cable was our only casualty, but it meant we were back on the dock for a few days to mend and make repairs. After fixing our steering setback, we left the port of Powell River with our compass pointing north towards beautiful Desolation Sound. combination of mountains and ocean and just getting to do it on your own terms. It feels pretty surreal right now. Very dreamlike. It feels particularly monumental, I feel. Like, you know, the struggles and the difficulty that it took to get out here and our steering and braking coming across in what was a really challenging sail, the process of fixing it, finding all the different bits and pieces that we've needed to get and the gear along the way. Like it's been a it's been a heck of a journey. And to arrive here and see the mountains, it's very magical and it feels oddly silent but very monumental. <laughs> you know, it's really incredible. I'm proud. I am proud of you. I'm proud of us. Yeah. And I feel like I thought this was going to be way harder than it is. You know, like the the fear that you have and what you tell yourself. You're like, oh, like deciding on a boat, finding a boat's going to be hard. And then learning how to sail is going to be hard. And then we're going to run into all these troubles and we're not going to know how to fix things. And that's going to be really hard. And we've done all of that. And it was hard but it also wasn't that hard. <laughs> your, your fear makes it out to be something bigger than I think it is. Once you start taking these little steps and working your way through it and the magic starts to happen and you're just so fueled by the, the dream and the inspiration and yeah. So you just gotta get out there and do it. If, if you wanna do it, you just gotta go and do it. Three years ago, literally sitting in my bed, binge watching videos of people doing this, thinking it was so far out of reach and so just beyond what I could do. Yeah, it feels pretty surreal to not be in my bed now watching it, but to be the one actually doing it. When you look at it as one big thing, it's really daunting and scary and you don't know how to approach it. But really, what it actually is, is just a series of small incremental steps towards one big goal. You don't wake up and one day suddenly find yourself on the boat by the mountains on the water. You slowly work your way there and, and here you are, like a year later. <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing.
we are going to Laura Cove, which is just around the corner up here. Um, we should be there pretty quick. We're sailing just a little bit off the beam. Won't take us long. Pretty shallow, tight anchorage. There's about room for about 10 boats if they're all stern tied. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to back in on it. After setting our hook, we launched Bruno, our dinghy and set up a stern line to avoid swinging around in this crowded anchorage. We then settled in for the evening, drinking up the magic and beauty of this incredible place. Good morning, had such a good sleep last night, but it is a little busy in this anchorage and kind of noisy with the number of boats in here. So we're thinking we're gonna haul up anchor right away this morning and continue onwards into the heart of Desolation Sound in search of more secluded anchorages. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we're moving. You can see the trees moving against the mountains. How much have we moved? A meter. Actually only a meter? No, we're moving pretty quick, surprisingly. So in case if you're wondering what's going on right here, our engine started to overheat, so we're trying to tow the boat to this little anchorage over here. Al's out there doing the hard labor. How's it going? How's Bruno treating you? Bruno's in charge now. He's like oh, yeah. on the big boat. Bruno's the main steam. We're moving slowly, really slowly, but it's better than heating up the engine. We're letting it cool up, and that way we'll just run the engine for a minute or two while we set the hook. And um, hopefully we can investigate well, what's going on. We think the coolant is leaking out of one of the hoses coming off the water pump. Probably will just be a case of tightening the hose clamps and refilling the engine with coolant, hopefully. Has anyone pulled their boat using 
their dinghy without an outboard, just good old fashioned paddle power. Anyone? <laughs> or are we like blazing trails here? We dropped the hook up in the mouth of this river and underneath this, over 100 feet. The river current is fairly steady and will hold the boat in line this way, which so far it seems to be doing. If we swing, we're gonna end up in the mouth of the river, which is really shallow. So we're kind of nervous about that. So it's great if we just, if the current actually holds us in this spot. We're planning on dropping a stern anchor regardless just behind us, just to hold the boat. We're just gonna row out maybe 10 feet, I think. We've never dropped a stern anchor before. As long as it hit, gets to the bottom and then stays there, it's just like a big weight really, isn't it? You know, with some of these things, it's just trial by fire. Trial and error, right? I gotta say, so far, it actually does look like the boat is sitting in the current. We did flick the engine on for a second to motor over here after Allison pulled us halfway across the bay in the D. You're a champ. I didn't think it would work, but apparently you're a pretty good rower. <laughs> Olympics standard, I'd say. Pretty magical spot to wake up to. We survived last night. We didn't drift anywhere. We haven't moved backwards. We've been pretty well in exactly in the same spot, so success. How is it? It's cold at first. Now it's just energizing. 